Master Mode is here for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it doesn't mess around. It's painfully difficult from the get-go. Enemies are stronger, their health regenerates rapidly, and you're gonna find high-level enemies in places you never would have thought possible if you played on the standard difficulty. All of these changes mean that you will have to tackle objectives big and small alike in new ways. Charging into battle like you're used to is not a good idea. To get you started, we've gathered nine tips to consider when you set out in master mode. And with any luck, you'll be on your way to becoming the master of Ganon's domain. And when you're done with this video, be sure to subscribe to GameSpot for other Breath of the Wild tips, including our guides for the Trials of the Sword, the other main component of the new Zelda DLC. Enough talk, have at the tips. Tip number one, avoid combat when necessary. Rather than fight your way across Hyrule, consider that you can accomplish many of your goals without directly engaging enemies. All it takes is one or two hits to die, even against red bokoblins at the start. So better to be safe than sorry and find your way around enemies rather than charging headlong into combat. Tip number two, don't rush. One of the biggest mistakes you can make in master mode is sprinting across the map and accidentally stumbling into a group of enemies. Be sure to tread lightly and observe your surroundings to find the safest path from point A to point B. Consider every vantage point an opportunity for reconnaissance, and use that info wisely when charting your course ahead. Tip number three, focus on shrines to boost your health. Enemies will kill you faster than ever in master mode, so consider focusing your energy on completing shrines to earn spirit orbs so that you can upgrade your hearts as soon as possible. That way, if you unexpectedly encounter enemies, you can stand to take a hit or two before dying. Tip number four, sneak and steal. It's true that Bokoblins will make quick work of you early on, but that doesn't mean you can't infiltrate their camps and steal precious weapons. The trick is to run rather than fight. When you spot a camp of Bokoblins with weapons off to the side, sneak up as quietly as possible and steal their equipment. Even if they notice you, don't worry. Bokoblins will give chase for a while and throw rocks to hit you from a distance, but a clever mix of sprinting, climbing, and dodging will allow you to get away unscathed. Tip number five, utilize your environment for stat boosts. Cooking and crafting have always been a core component of Breath of the Wild, but they are almost imperative in master mode. Collecting every resource within reach will allow you to concoct meals and elixirs that lend you greater speed, hardier defense, or greater attack power. This should be obvious to anyone who spent time in Breath of the Wild, but it bears repeating given how even the smallest advantage in master mode is worthy of your time and attention. Tip number six, head to Hyrule Field for DLC equipment. Given that enemies are super tough now, why not make a beeline for Majora's Mask, one of the new pieces of gear in this DLC to make it easier to walk amongst monsters without raising their ire. Look to the EX Treasure Ancient Mask side quest to decipher its location. And while you're at it, be sure to go for the EX Treasure Phantasma side quest as well. The phantom armor you earn carries a defense rating of eight, which is far better than any other armor you can find early on. It's important to note that you first need to leave the opening area, the Great Plateau, and subsequently encounter a loading screen before these quests unlock. An easy way to trigger a loading screen is by fast traveling to a shrine or tower. Tip number seven, amiibo are your amigos. Once the option becomes available, you can always dive headlong into amiibo farming to acquire lots of rupees, food, resources, and perhaps even new gear. It's not exactly playing fair, but you'll need all the help you can get to make it through master mode. Tip number eight, look for floating platforms with metallic treasure chests. The new floating platforms that dot Hyrule are a great resource for strong gear with stat bonuses. Most items you find within will have significantly increased capabilities and may give you a fighting chance against the modes harder than usual enemies. And lastly, tip number nine, use bodies of water to drown enemies. If you can knock an enemy into water, there's a good chance they will drown and die instantly. Use this to your advantage and place bombs near the edge of a body of water lure enemies to the location, and blow them up from behind to send them skyrocketing into the air and into the drink. Then, all that's left is to harvest their body parts like the sick monkey you are. These are nine of our favorite tips for beginning in Breath of the Wild's master mode. So thank you for watching and sticking around to the end. And if you've got any tips of your own to share, put them in the comments below. And as always, give us a like. Every little bit helps.